<clears throat> okay, session is recording. <clears throat> all right, guys, so we all know, okay, I think this is session number six, or well, what, you can just correct me in the chat. But either way, yeah, just, let's keep going. This is session number six. And um, in all the sessions, guys, um, I go a bit like, oh, mainly focus on technical analysis, right? Session number one was technical. Session number two was also technical. Session number three was psychology, right? So I know a lot of people that are struggling with psychology. Like, guys, it's important to, to go to session number three. Um, that's where I was talking about. That's where I was, what did I talk about? I talk about a lot. But that's where I was talking about things like um, losses, um, you're not going to get a trade every day. Um, you need to wait patiently um, to 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 trade. To to you need to be patiently. You need to wait patiently for the setup to play out. You know that's what I think that's why I said um, trading is eighty percent raising, ten percent buying, ten percent selling. Because most of the time, you're waiting for the market to come down to your entry points. You know, you're waiting an hour. In our case, we waiting for the market to form a trend. Right, because you guys know that we're trading trend lines, so waiting for the market to form a trend, right? So days could go by without a setup coming, days, weeks, you know, stuff like that. So you're waiting, for, days could go by like you waiting for that third touch, you know, it takes a day, two, three, you know, possibly even a week, you know. Like I have many setups analyzed, I have many setups analyzed, and they're not yet on the group and stuff like that. Like I'm still watching them behind the scenes, you know, waiting for them, you know, slowly but surely they come, slowly but surely they come. You're not going to trade all 36 pairs, you know, no, it's impossible. So, yeah, guys, Um, but I don't want to go too much into psychology, but guys, like, patience is needed, you know, patience is needed, you just have the right mindset, but let's not waste time because we only have 40 minutes, someone's calling, Um, we only have 40 minutes, right? So, I just need everybody this week, guys, to go through all the sessions from one to from one to today's one. Well, okay, from one to five. If you hear it, yeah, you're fine, but you can rewatch this. But it's important, guys, to watch all the sessions because people tend to ask me questions that I cover in the session, you know, like um, where to set a stop loss. That's in session two. How to say take profits. You know, I went that I went over that in session two. You know, it was like the highs and all that, guys. So you need to, it's important, guys, to rewatch um the sessions. That's why they saved, you know. So today's session, I just wanna last session. Um I had that diagram, I had that whiteboard of um lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Um, I'm sure you guys remember my wrong. I think I had that just type. Yes, if I'm correct. A lot goes on, so yeah forget but yeah last session i was um drawing you know showing you guys how to identify trains you know and like that's the solid rule you know what i showed what i um taught in that video is like you know that's the key that's the key information you know so this point is going over and over and over again in every session like wasting time when it's already recorded and saved on the group you know so today's session i just want to strictly go into yeah, oh, okay, perfect. So in today's session, I strictly want to go into analyzing the market, right? I straight, I want to go into looking at the market straight, right? So I'm sure by now it's drilled in everyone's head, guys, how we look at the market. Right? Remember, like I said, we want to zoom out, right? Zooming out helps us um, with connecting our trend. And I want to put this thing at the bottom. Zooming up, zooming out helps us with connecting our trend lines, you know, because we see our lows, we see our lower lows and lower highs clearly, you know, also higher highs, higher lows clearly, guys. So right here, you can see that unless our lower lows are clear, clear when zoomed out. Whereas if you're looking at the market like this, let's say you open your charts and you just look here, you know, like I'm not saying it's incorrect, but it's better to zoom out because you have a better understanding of the market, you know, so you can see that, oh, okay. Nasdaq from Nasdaq from here has been very bullish, you know, and you understand, you can see that, okay, you have a low, second low, 
third low, you know, third touch, that's what went up, you know, stuff like that. So it's important to have an understanding of um, the markets, you know, you need to know why it moves the way it moves, you know. So I know that's boring stuff, beginner stuff, but not a lot of people know that, that it's important to zoom out. Because if you people find, I tell you, have um, people, people um, struggle with like connecting train lines and everything. So zooming out, try zooming out, and that will help, guys. So I zoom, I know I usually zoom out about one, two, three, four, five times, yeah, five times, right? You know, four, five is too much, right? And I just connect my train line on the obvious lows, you see. Let me just zoom in now so it's clear. So you see first low, first low, low, second, let me just connect it properly first. This. Okay, there we go. So you see with one, two, three, four, right? right. Um, sorry, I need to take this. Sure. Sure, I'm going to talk for Nell. I'm going to talk for Nell. Sure, sure. So um, you do the same for your parallel, guys. Um, for your parallel train line, guys, you want to connect your train line on the highs, right? This is just a touch up on the basics. So you can see this lower high over here. First touch, second touch. And as I anticipated last week, actually, no, the week before, the NAS is going to give us that NAS is going to drop after giving us the third touch. And as you can see, it did drop. However, it did actually play around. I had entries over here and I eventually got taken out. You know, that's just the market just doing its thing. You know, can you guys still hear me? I took my airport out. Can you still just type here quickly if you can hear? Or must I repeat that? Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, yeah. So guys, some, some, how do I say it? Like even me, I find myself in situations where I can see a setup and I anticipate it, right? But then my execution isn't the best, right? Like. I gave out, I, yeah, I anticipated a sell. After seeing this daily, remember guys, we always wait for the daily candle to close, right? After seeing this daily candle, guys, I instant sold immediately. My entry point was like somewhere down here, right? And as you can see, yeah, I blew that account. I'm not even, I blew that account, right? And that's just the market doing its thing, you know? Sometimes the market does it, sometimes the market plays around, you know? It creates structure, it creates more like, um, trains within our train. I'll show you guys on the smaller time frame, right? So that's that's my analysis okay, on daily, right? Remember, we always on daily. So we know now on daily, we can actually anticipate NASDAQ to eventually fall all the way down to this trend line, guys. Overall view. Remember when we had when we had um, this last foot touch over here, we anticipated NAS to shoot all the way up, right? And come back down. So right now we actually um, got our third touch. So now I'm expecting NAS to retrace all the way down to our upper trend line for a duplicate of this over here, right? So let's get more practical. Today I'm gonna be a bit slower just so everyone um, understands. Yeah, okay, perfect, right? So me guys, like I wanna show you that it's okay to like make mistakes, you know? Like I rushed this entry. I saw that. It was, that was here. I had entered over here. Sold profits, but eventually got taken out. Reason being is because there was structure within structure. Right? So as you can see, look at my phone. Sorry for the dis distraction. <laughs> so I need to go to H1 so everything is clear, guys. So let me just break down why NAS dropped so hard, right? So this is what I mean by structure within the structure, guys. You can see, let me just delete this trend line, don't forget it. We had a channel. Not necessarily a channel, but some like structure, you know, on um, H1, right? So NAS was playing between, NAS was playing in this channel. Right. So yes, I'm not gonna lie, I had my entry around somewhere here, you know, 
I know it wasn't there. It was around, yeah. I'll check your trade, but it's cheaper. It's take time. Um, so yeah, it was here. It was here. And I also saw the double top. So I entered, right? But then as you can see, eventually it took me out. It didn't shoot down as a shot down now, you know? So it took me out at a position through that account, right? And that's because usually, guys, the market likes to form trends within trends. What I mean by that is that you can clearly see that on the daily, the daily candle, all the daily candles were um, dojis, spinning tops, you can see, right? But then what the market tend, what the market likes to do is that it likes to form patterns within um, within a trend, right? This is usually done to give us more entry points. This is usually done to take out all the people who entered early, including me, you know, in this case, unfortunately. But yeah. So then later on, I discovered, I saw that, okay, NASDAQ is doing this thing where um creates a pattern within a pattern, you know, a trend, trend within a trend, you know. So I'm like, I know the overall direction that NASDAQ is on the job, right? So now it's all about entry points, right? So I'm just breaking this down to all those who possibly confuse as to why NASDAQ dropped so much, right? So as you can see, guys, we would have connected our trend on our lower highs, right? So first touch, second touch, third touch, right? Third touch would anticipate a drop. Third touch would anticipate a drop. You can see that it pretty much consolidated around our entry points, possibly took out those that barcoded or entered more positions, and then eventually started to drop down nicely, right? And as you can see, so we let's we at this point right now, right? These um lower lows have formed. We have our third touch here, right? So obviously, when it touches our trade line for the fourth touch, we're gonna close, right? Then you can execute buys, but I don't like to play cats and mouse with the markets. I don't like to like run with it you know like let's say for example guys you caught the sell here you have no reason to catch this buy like why are you being greedy you know what if this just breaks and then you know goes all the way down and you literally lost all your profits you need to learn to like control yourself you know hold yourself yes you can see a setup happening but that doesn't mean you have to execute it right so eventually guys you can see that that's actually broke and gave us a retest right broke gave us a retest Right, and then dropped. And then again, did the same thing. We're just forming patterns within, patterns within structure, right? So you can see that actually had this trend line. Well, yeah, yeah. So you can see that the reason for this massive drop here was actually because of this previous high over here, right? So you can see that this previous high, right? Um, previous high, we have a first top. So in this case, we'll see a potential double top pattern, right? So you can see that we have our first top and we obviously anticipate a second top, right? And also in this case, we'll draw a downward trend line, but we'll start it from here, right? So when you see this, this high in the middle, guys, like this is usually our first top. It's, it's usually, this way it gets confusing. It's usually our first top or it's actually our second touch of the trend line. So you need to look to the left to look for, um, look at the previous side and see if you can see if you can connect the trend line right so you can see that we have first touch second touch uh, and third touch right so this is why it dropped so massive um impulsively because it's two setups right it's a double top this is the first top second top so a double top pattern and the third touch of the trend line and that's that shot all the way down right so that's i was just breaking down um why that's that shot all the way down right so wait, before I go on, do you guys understand that pattern separation? Are you guys understanding? And head and shoulders within. Let me see. Head and shoulders within. Oh yeah, yeah. But you see, it wouldn't. Oh yeah, yeah. I see the head and shoulders. This would be the neckline, and then you could say. Yeah, but it's not a nice one. But yeah, I see. I see what I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But the main the main the main reason for this drop. I follow. Yeah, I know it sounds confusing, guys. Like Ness is very confusing. I need you to pay attention. Right. So 
which is unstable why so yeah guys so the reason for this massive drop was simply because of the double top and the third touch on the trend line right so just like what we do with all our um all our trend lines we we tend to extend them right because the market has i'm not going to say always but most of the time retraces back to our trend line right so honestly speaking i wouldn't be surprised if NAS retraces this week back to our trend line and we get uh, a times two of this move over here another impulsive move to the downside right but let's focus on what NAS is going to do right now based on reading market structure looking at market structure right so in this in these cases guys it's it's like hard to trade NAS because you'll be like okay so these these lower lows are broken they're invalid okay we'll try connecting a trend line from here right we won't connect you know you can't necessarily do this because you have to wait for this you need to wait for a lower low to be created you know and you can't predict where lower lows in the form right so in these situations guys we tend like this is where like support and resistance comes into play right a whole of you guys know that i'm not really fond of support and resistance i just tend to i like to wait for confirmation with the trend line you know but this is where support and resistance comes into play right so we know based off supports not bad based off support and resistance guys we can actually because this is this is our only um nearest like high guys this is only potential reversing point right let me just explain quickly like guys previous highs and lows are potential reversing points especially on nasdaq nas likes to retest previous highs or previous lows right meaning that nasdaq could drop down to the zone over here which we had um we had these these previous I'll zoom properly these previous highs over here right so i mean we can expect nas to drop down we can expect it to shoot down, right? And this zone here would be a point of interest, you know? We wanna see if it will respect or if it will break, you know? If it respects, you know, wait for a solid confirmation candle to buy, right? And it'll actually go in favor with the overall setup with this trend line here. Remember we have a third touch on the trend line. So we're actually anticipating the fourth touch. So if this one is respected, then that's gonna go in favor with our setup. You know, we, then we can anticipate next to buy, to retrace all the way, back up to our trend line, right? That's just my outlook on NAS based on the strategy that we use or oh, NAS could actually, we don't really necessarily want to predict guys. We just want to wait for the market to 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 play out and then see, we trade what we, we trade what we see, not what we think, right? But however, overall explanation, if this zone here is respected, if it's respected, meaning that if momentum slows down, if we get a reversal candlestick, such as a doji, bullish engulfing candle, stuff like that, then we can anticipate buys. We can anticipate buys on NASDAQ, possibly all the way back up to the trend line. Remember, guys, the market likes to retrace back to our trend line. What we would like, to, we like to wait for the market to retrace back to our trend line because the trend line is where we usually enter trades. So, do you guys? Do you guys um understand that Nasdaq is in a very like sticky, sticky, sticky place right now? Do you guys understand that? <laughs> All right, it's proper. All right. So that was nice. Let me look at gold. Ah, uh, the gold, the gold sets up one. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, it's proper. The gold, the gold sets up one. Guys, remember, I don't want to start an ask from the beginning, but from the last Zoom session, everybody knows that we had this zone of support over here. I had a triple bottom. This is the third. This is the third bottom. Hence why um the market shot up so impossibly, right? And then I did anticipate. Initially, you can go back to the last Zoom session. I did say that we're going to get a repeat of this, but in reverse. 
meaning that this is a triple bottom. So I'm, I'm expecting a triple top. And indeed, we got it. We got it, as you can see that the market dropped, right? So also gold, guys. Gold also likes to um, play out in support and resistance. You know, it favors support and resistance. You know, trend lines do work too, but, you know, like I struggle with trend lines on gold. That's why I don't trade gold, you know, but I do analyze it, watch it with support and resistance. You see, like with trend lines, there isn't really much to it. You know, it's not juicy, like NASDAQ and currency pairs. Right, so looking at gold right now, this is daily, remember, guys. So you can see we have this triple top, which is why gold um melted all the way down. Right. So I'm actually expecting it to drop all the way down to this zone over here. Reason why I want to drop it to this zone is because you can see this is an area of confluence. Right. Now say area of confluence, I just mean that it's an area with like a lot of sensitivity, guys. What I mean by that is that you can see the once resistance, resisted off here, broke. Supported, came back. So breakouts and retest, bought, check. Came back down, yeah, supported off, you know. Here yeah, I actually broke. We weren't expecting a retest, but that retest didn't come because of the triple bottom. You know, that was no surprise. So right now I'm expecting um, gold. I just want to see how it plays. I want to see how it reacts to this um, zone over here, right? And if we do see some sign of reversal or slow down momentum, then I am actually anticipating major buys reason being is that because this is um a potential inverted and shoulders pattern playing out right so if you don't see it this is the left shoulder and this is the right shoulder let's buy a mouse i will left shoulder this is the head sorry left left shoulder this is the head this is the head not the right shoulder sorry this is the right shoulder here that's playing out right now. So left shoulder, head, and now we're waiting for the right shoulder to play out. So that's, and we're only on daily time frame because see the importance of starting your analysis on a bigger time frame, right? But let me not neglect my trend lines. Let me see what I can do. Okay, we have that. See a clear breakout to possibly the retest on the smaller time frame, but it isn't really. Oh, there we go. So we can actually still catch the sun, right? Because you can actually see it's still of like we it's we're literally in the middle of this movement, right? Um, so I connected this trend line on our lower lows. So first touch, second touch, third touch. Right? The third touch in this case wasn't as wasn't too powerful because remember, guys, the overall picture. Looking at the overall picture, gold is extremely. I'm touching the screen as if you can see. Gold is um extremely, extremely bearish, meaning that you can expect major sells. Right. So this third touch here wasn't really um powerful because it's actually against the trend. It's against the overall movement. Right, so overall, moment, overall momentum, right? So in this case, the reason why I drew this trend line is actually because I'm gonna wait for the markets. I wanna see if it's actually okay. Most chances that it's gonna break, right? So the close below, wait for a retest, right? Then on the retest, we can enter, right? On the retest, we can enter for sales. Let me just draw, let me just delete this because it's gonna really confuse. There we go. So this is the type of setup I'm waiting for. A breakout, retest, sells back down to the zone over here. So that's my analysis on gold. Some sorts of inverted and shoulders for me too. Yeah. 100%. 100%. So it, are you guys understanding? Like there isn't, your analysis is like, what you see is usually what's going to happen, you know, like, that's why I always say, guys, trade the first setup you see. You know, when you when you see another setup, when you see another setup, that's because you're looking at the market too much and everything, you know. So just um, type a yes if you're understanding so far. Let's take a video here. Online session. All right, so everyone's understanding. We do proper, proper, proper. 
conversation. Okay. I didn't say you know the vibes. Hold on. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Don't want to waste time. So that's gold, NASDAQ. What else did I write here? I wrote, uh, no, not just, I wanted to go through some currencies. My analysis is good, but my psychology came. Yeah, dog, like you need to watch number two, I think Zoom session two or three. I spent like 20 minutes. I spent 20 minutes just going into psychology. I don't know what's happening with this now. Which analysis? Oh yeah, this is the setup that's valid right now. This is the one setup that is valid right now. Let me just, this setup pays, but it requires you to risk, but it pays. But guys, never be afraid to enter trades. No risk, no reward, guys. No risk, no reward. Go, I'm not saying go all in as in like go full margin, but just risk. If I played it safe, if I only opened one zero point zero one, I wouldn't be here, you know. I doubt they'll be here. So able. Sorry about that. This is your GBP, guys. This pay is slipped on. This pay is slipped on. This is my favorite currency pay. Uh, this is my favorite currency pay because it literally respects the small movement and the small setups. There was a time where this is even on my story highlights. I deposited 3K and um I had a turnover of 28k profits. It's all on my highlights. You'll see Euro GBP. Euro GBP had used like 1.50 lots because it's currencies, right? But because you're running out of time, let me just analyze this thing quick, right? So you see, connected my trend line on my um highs, right? So you can see we have a first touch, second touch, third touch, fourth touch, right? which was our most recent movement, right? So after the fourth touch, this pay has a lot of fake outs. So you need to, you need to be cautious of that, right? So after our fourth touch, you can see that it dropped, right? Let me just plot this zone over here. I mean, I am, expect, I am expecting it to drop all the way down to here, right, overall, right? So after the fourth touch, you can see that it's pretty much dropping, right? We do have more entry points, like retests, previous zones, areas of high confluence. Remember, as I said, high confluence, like there's a lot of sensitivity there. You know, so you can see your GBP resisted, resisted, broke out, support, shot up, came back down, supported, you know, played around, it should be shot up, right? So as you can see now, it's literally a replica of that setup you can see that we now resisting and it's actually had it actually has started dropping but it's retracing remember guys every single retracement is an entry point so let's focus on over here let's focus on this over here we start on h4 look at how much we've look at how much information we've gotten from the market look how much we understand how look at how we look at how much we understand euro gbp you know we start on the daily time frame we only looked at two time frames daily and h4 and we know that we want to look for every cells all the way down to here you know if you open the charts here you'll be like clueless you'll be like okay there's this thing buying overall or is it selling you know overall but we know that it's selling because we started on the bigger time frame right so you can see this is that um h4 candlestick these candles on two three four you know okay sure so now this is multi time frame analysis at its best guys right now we add an entry point you can sell Euro GBP, as you can see, we have our first time, second, third, third touch. Simple, simple setup, right? So I'm actually expecting this thing to drop. Tight stop loss back at this zone over here. If it takes us, if it takes us out, we enter again. I'm gonna set this thing properly, and there we go. Uh, and in this one, this entry point, this should be like the last retracement. So again, I'm not predicting the market, but I am expecting this one. Our first take profit for this one can be this previous over here. 
then obviously it's gonna, gonna form like a double top short term, a temporary double top pattern, short term, short term buy, you know, fiddle around, take out all the small accounts, take out all the trailing stop losses, and then eventually break all the way down to come down here. Are you guys understand? Did you guys understand that? Did you guys understand? Uh, let me see. Put this bigger. I'm looking at the chats. Type yes if you type yes or no if you understood that. Type yes or no if you understood that. Online session, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. I is everyone understanding proper. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Online session. Okay, let me switch off. Let me switch on the mic. Okay, let me stop the recording. Right. This is for all the people who couldn't get in. Um, so yeah, there are gonna be more setups provided throughout the week. Remember, guys, one thing about me, I want to make sure I give out the best setups. Whether it takes a day or two for the setup to play out, I'll wait before giving it out. Just like that Euro USD, uh, that one melted, you know. Um, so yeah, more setups will be provided. In